Right. And what I'm, of course, seeing is the stage being set for Bible prophecy because you have uh, Rosh or Russia as one of the invaders of Israel in the last days. And then when you go over to Revelation 16, you discover that the kings of the east, who I think is a pretty good reference to China, are also making their way into the land of Israel in the last days. And so, therefore, it's not really uh, much of a surprise to see Russia and China cooperating with each other. And as this hurts um, America, the American economy, the American dollar, that's more stage setting for Bible prophecy because as, as hard as we try, we can't find America anywhere in the pages of prophetic scripture. So the stage is clearly being set through all of these things that we're speaking of this evening. And, of course, here's a headline from Times of Israel. Netanyahu said to huddle repeatedly with military brass over possible attack on Iran. And we've been hearing this forever, but uh, I guess they are getting closer. Um, and, again, that's why I'm not so sure that bringing up the judicial reform now was a good idea. Clearly, it's not working. So how did that work out for you, Benjamin? I mean, you guys went forward with this, thinking you're going to get it. You didn't get it. You've divided the nation. Now you got your own military. Some of them not wanting to show up and serve. Um, I think they got the cart before the horse. You know, everybody's got different ideas. But this is heating up. And let's not forget, uh, uh, Iran is in partnership with China and Russia. So, so this is about to get really interesting as Iran and in, in, uh, Israel tangle. America is got an economic war going on with those nations making up the BRICS banking system. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Saudi Arabia's throwing in, Argentina's throwing in, Iran's throwing in. I mean, the whole world is on fire and about to go to war either in segments or collectively. Dr. Rob? Yeah, you know, uh, what, what Dr. Wood, Wood talked about, we don't find American Bible prophecy in the absence of it is quite important because what happens to America? And and I think we I think we self-destruct. You know, first of all, we we deserve to be judged. I look at the the lack of morality. I, I look at what we're doing with the homosexual issue, the the transgender issue. Uh, you know, God's a holy God and God's a righteous God and and he always warns before judgment, but he's warned us in Romans one, he he talks about the fact that that you know, we, we make a mockery of God and uh, we make a liar of God and that's impossible. So, so we deserve to be judged. And I, I think uh, Dr. Wood is right. I don't see American Bible prophecy. And you know what? Sometimes people get so mad at me because they say, you know, Bible prophecy is, uh, is a doomsday type of thing. And I, I just heard a, uh, a man speak on the fact that uh, the prophet Jeremiah uh, he, he talked about something that was bittersweet. Uh, it was bitter because it was a, a judgment against Israel. But sometimes in the midst of that bitterness, there's sweetness because it causes people to repent. And so I don't know if America is going to turn around.